Let's continue the conversation. Joanna, what does a, a, a win look like if you're not Apple, right, which is uh, done very well in both smartphones and in watches and wearables up to this point. What does a win look like when in this economy, we're seeing the middle get hollowed out? You know, I was looking at some numbers, uh, Canalys is saying that the high end is selling, the low end is selling, the middle, not so much. So what, what do these folks have to do? Well, I think for where you're standing at the Google event today, it's a couple of points, a couple more market share points there, right? Right now they're at 2% in the US of pixel market share. Um, that is not a lot, but it's a big jump from where they were. And so when I caught up with Rick Ostrello, who is the, the lead Google hardware chief, about these new products, I mean, he was pretty, he was pretty clear and, and I think pretty honest to say, look, we're just trying to grow a little bit, little by little. And so I think here, as you're mentioning, if the growth is at the high end and at the lower end, that does make a little bit of a troublesome area for these pixel devices as they're priced sort of in the sweet spot in the middle end which we in the middle where we would usually say that's a great deal right these are starting at 599 899 respectively i mean they're good values for these phones and every time i review a pixel phone i say this is a great phone but most people are used to what they're <laughs> buying an iphone or a samsung that that used to be the same thing that you would have to say about Apple's computers, right? Oh, these Macs, it's a great Mac, but most people want Windows. So what's the strategic imperative? Talk now about Pixel Watch for Google to move forward with this, given, hey, they just cut Stadia, right? This is a time when companies are focusing yep. in on what's most important. Why are wearables so important for an ecosystem player? Right, it's all about that ecosystem. And I think that Fitbit acquisition is really showing right here on this Pixel Watch, right? Otherwise, this would just have been another Android watch that has not sold. I mean, look, honestly, Samsung has been trying to make the Android watches happen now for years, right? Here with the Pixel Watch, we have a real, real combination with the fitness features, which has been Apple's big marketing play on the Apple Watch. And so this is the first Pixel or Google piece of hardware to have the Fitbit in integration. And I think they're betting on that. Um, but really what they're trying to bet on is that ecosystem, right? You buy this phone, you buy this watch, they work the best together, just like Apple stuff. And in fact, when I caught up, caught up with Australia last week, I asked him very clearly, what about getting this watch to work with the iPhone? He says, doesn't work right now, but maybe one day, hopefully mm. one day. That's interesting, um, because you would think that the watch is a way to maybe make customers loyal to that Android ecosystem, as you say, Joanna. Um, but put it sort of in the context, I, I feel like both Alphabet, Google, and Amazon have different ambitions here, obviously, than an Apple, but it's really about that ecosystem, as you say. I mean, is Google's hardware just a means of showing off their software, and Amazon, their hardware means of showing off their prime flywheel? I think in Google's case, it's really, it is about computing, right? Every time I ask them, why are you doing this hardware, right? You've already, you're already on billions of devices. Everyone's using your, your apps. They're using all the infrastructure you've already built for the cloud. Why do hardware? For them, they say it's about the future of computing, right? They want to keep making the actual hardware to, to make the best software. So that's, that's that, and they want people to buy it. On Amazon, totally agreed with you. It is a lot about getting people into their services. It's always been the case, right? Take a hit on the prices, right? You've got those dirt cheap Fire tablets. They're not the best made, but hey, they're great for kids because they can watch Amazon Prime. You can go shopping on there. There's the, the app store. And so it's all about the tie into the, as you said, the flywheel of Amazon. Keep getting people to buy, keep getting to use those services.